Hey guys, what's up? It's Nicole and today we're going to talk about how to be productive in the winter or rather how to be productive when you can't go outside because we all know there's that time of year when you can't go out whether there's snow on the ground, it's just too hot, or maybe it's just raining too much and you can't go outside. We end up with nothing to do and we find ourselves saying, I'm bored. So Today I'm going to give you five things that you can do when you get bored that are not only productive but will benefit you in the long run. Number one, listen to audiobooks. Now you may have heard this before or maybe you already listen to audiobooks on your commute from work or to school, but they also are very beneficial when you have nothing to do. When you're just laying there doing nothing, you can put on an audiobook and learn something or rather just listen to something that you find interesting. There are thousands of books on there. There are thousands of different things to read, thousands of millions of authors out there, whether you're into fiction, fan fiction, um, non-fiction, <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff out there. There are also a lot of different places where you can go to find audiobooks. I prefer Audible because they're pretty awesome, but there are other free ones. I, I'm not really sure if they're free, but there are other ones like um, Hoopla and Overdrive. I know a few people who use those and they're just, they're almost as good as Audible. They don't have the huge, gigantic, widespread library like Audible, but they're beneficial. Number two, learn a new language. Learning a new language can also help improve your memory. So if you're having memory problems, which I know I do sometimes, learning a new language can help. It can also help increase your attention span. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that the average person only pays attention to something for eight seconds. That's not a lot of time. And so learning a new language can help you increase your attention span and pay more attention to things and help you if you can't pay attention in class or you can't pay attention at work. It's definitely going to help you to learn a new language at home when you have nothing to do. So there are a few different services out there. I've never used them, but there's Babbel and there's Rosetta Stone. I actually did use Rosetta Stone when I was in high school when I was learning French. It was okay, but it was not as good as Duolingo. Now Duolingo is free. It's an app and you can download it on your phone anytime you want to. You can just turn it on and learn something new. Number three, take an online course. Now you may be thinking, I don't have the money for that. The Khan Academy, if you're into math or science or computer science, um, Code Academy has some free courses on there where you can learn how to code. That's where I learned how to do C plus and JavaScript. Um, there's all kind. Of, there's YouTube right here. This platform right here has so many different videos on it where you can learn things. You can learn about photography, fishing, driving. Skillshare is not free, but it is a very very widespread source. I did use it for a while, but I just could not keep up with the $15 a month. Skillshare is actually pretty good. It's how I learned a little bit about photography. It was, it's pretty good, and there's also Udemy, if you're willing to pay. Um, Udemy has a wide range of courses on there. I have not yet used Udemy, but I've heard great things about it. Um, just choose whatever you want to do. Go and choose an online course, and take the time to learn something. Or you could do an online school like Penn Foster. Penn Foster has thousands of programs you can do straight from your computer. Use up your spare time. You have the time, you're bored, you're not doing anything, so take a course online. Number four is one of my favorites. It's currently something that I've been doing for a while now and that's at home workouts. Now in my previous video I mentioned that one of the great and most productive things you can do is exercise. And I said that you don't have to go to a gym, you can just do it straight from home. And that's true. There are thousands of videos on YouTube where you just turn it on and you can just go straight from home. Um, I have been doing a couple. Um, my favorite one right now is the Fitness Marshal. I don't know if you've heard of him, but he's pretty, he's pretty funny. And he does a lot of dancing. And it looks weird at times, but it does help you lose weight. I've met multiple people who have said that they lost weight from this and it's it's time consuming definitely um one minute you'll turn it on you'll be laughing at what he's doing and then the next thing you know you've been doing it for an hour so 
there's that. If you're looking to sculpt, there's, there's v, uh, v Shred. I don't really personally watch his videos, but I have in the past. And I've heard from people who have said that it's very beneficial. What he does is great. Um, I know that he might have some paid things, but on YouTube, his videos are 100% free. So take a look at those. Then there's Emmy Wong. I personally have used her videos a couple times. They've definitely helped. I used to be 250 pounds and now I'm not. So that's great. Um, take a look at those. Um, at home workouts are time consuming. Anytime you want to, you can just turn on a workout video. Do it straight from home without ever having to leave if you can't go outside. And I find that extremely beneficial because not only are you doing something to keep you entertained, but you don't have to go outside to do it and you don't have to spend any money at all. Number five is starting a blog or a website. Now, if you ever had anything you want to do, like maybe you want to start an online business or maybe you just want to get your thoughts out on things that happen every day or maybe you just want to review things and you don't want to start a YouTube channel, well, you can start a blog. Now, it's not free like YouTube, but it is beneficial and it does. it's one of the easiest things to do. There are thousands of hundreds of sites out there that that will help you produce a website, whether you want to do it yourself or not. Um, personally, I've coded a few websites. There, <laughs> If you don't know anything about coding, I recommend that you use one of the services that does it for you. There's, a, there's hundreds of them. I'm going to list a few on the screen right here. Um, my favorite is Webflow. I love Webflow. Webflow is just amazing. Um, they're a little bit behind WordPress, but their, their UI is to die for. I just recommend it. It does cost slightly more, I think. I'm not really sure. I haven't looked at the prices lately, but starting a website or starting a blog is definitely something that can take up some of your time, and if you're feeling really bored and you want to do something productive, this is definitely something that you can do, and I highly recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was short, but I didn't have a lot of time today to record anything. I was very busy, and so I hope these five tips and these five ideas help you be more productive when you can't go outside. I'm going to make another video, part two, not probably not any time in the next few weeks, but I'm going to take a break from the How to Be Productive series. I'm going to start something else. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, you guys will see me Friday.